back at Mailmore Lodge. Go for a bit of a run in the morns, and I'm here with a very tall wizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Simon. Uh, the plan is what we're doing. We're going to run up to Hare's Gap, follow the brandy pad round to the saddle, and then come back up over the top of the mountains. It's my first time running here since six months. Is it six months? Let's just we'll just go around. Oh, my ability to go up hills is somewhat hampered by not going up hills. <laughs> if you do decide to come up to the moorings at the minute, try and not touch anything. Bring hand sanitizer, which I have somewhere, and wear gloves. <laughs> wear gloves. And but if you do turn up, the car park's are totally full. Be prepared to go look somewhere else, or worst case scenario, go home. People live, need to live here. It's not Disneyland. And. An important fact, the toilets are open at Minmore. Yeah, the toilets are open at Minmore. That's very useful. But the, the, the hand dryer sounds like a dying Volkswagen. Just started and it's not just behind, because I'm behind Simon. But I'll pretend to run this bit majestically. And then, oh, it's good to be back here though. Oh, I can't breathe. We're going that way. The air's starting to get thin, so I'm having a little bit of trouble breathing. With this altitude, we must be at least 300 meters above sea level. Someday, I'm going to come up here and run with someone who's actually slower than me. <laughs> Every time. I haven't run since February, he says, as he binds off into the distance. <laughs> I just realized there was a slug eating it. I'm sorry. You can eat the banana skin. Here you go. Oh, no, it doesn't want it. Now that slug may be enjoying that banana skin, but it still stands. Don't throw banana skin to the moons! Taking a little shortcut. You just said race you to the top. No. No, because I know how this I know how this ends. This ends with you sitting in a rock up there smiling down at me. Throwing banana skins. Uh, throwing banana skins. Look at this. It doesn't smell like urine. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put this in my bag. Do you know what's gonna happen? This is gonna blow out the back of my bag and someone's gonna think I, 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 What's I up there? Uh, I foraged. What have you foraged? The uh, lesser known bueno. <laughs> Is that a mountain bueno? Mountain bueno, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Go on, eat it. Uh, COVID-19, perhaps <laughs> not. <laughs> Is it still? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it has been half eaten. Who eats half? Half a bueno? I, I'm worried what else we're going to find up here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> so would you like some ice in your glass? <laughs> Who abandons a glass? <laughs> Serious. Mm. I'm holding this camera at arm's length, by the way. So, you know, I'm going to have to disinfect everything. <laughs> at this rate, we'll have like a full picnic set by the time we get to the top. <laughs> Having problems with rubbish building up in your house? Come to the Marns! Dump it here for free. We'll like a, yeah, we'll pick it up. Absolute wazix. If I find out who's been doing that, I'm gonna visit you in the night and slap you with a banana skin. There we sleep Donard. So we're not going that way, we're heading up. Comeda. There's Newcastle. And I'm very glad we're on this side of the wall. You just listen. In the winds. This is absolutely insane. See this rock? The winds actually get so bad up here that they blow the rocks out. It's like a giant game of Jenga with the Moran Wall. So every time there's a sudden gust of wind and a storm, the rocks just slide out. Simon's busting for a wee, which is the last thing you want to do when there's a very strong wind blowing towards you. Because if you don't hit yourself, you hit whoever's 100 meters in that direction. It's more in lemonade, they call it. It is such a different experience running in the morns than it is hiking, because when you're hiking, you tend to big backpack on heavier clothes. When you're running, you maybe have one, two kilos in your back, most of it's water, and you're in shorts. <laughs> It's just a completely different experience. Excuse me. Hello. Would you, would you happen to have a plate of chips? Or a Coke? Nice crisp Coke? Anybody? No? Any? I'd sell, I'd, I'd sell for a Mars bar. No? Okay. This is going to be the fun bit. Downhill. I don't see you. But I know it's there Although I'm fumbling in the night It's getting hard to see the light But if I hold a steady course I close my eyes and try to feel Which way to go and what is real I wouldn't fall into my doubts anymore <laughs> Back to the car. <laughs> oh yeah, we completely forgot. We'll have to go back up. <laughs> we were gonna go down. Never mind. <laughs> well, we should go up Burnett just just to make up for that. Then <gasps> there was a bee. You shall not pass. I told you it was a wizard. Simon Gandalf Hodge. He's an absolute mountain goat. So, here we are. <sighs> what do we do? 8.42 miles. Well, you did 2.24. Two, 
I did more than you. <laughs> this is the handy part about Midmore Lodge. <laughs> Go for a run, burn a lot of calories, and then immediately put them back on. Where's your chicken burger? <laughs> As he chokes to death on it. Actually, alright. A wee bit of lettuce would be nice, but still alive. <laughs>